In this video, we're going to go over how to use the distance function. In particular, we're going to look at how to use the distance function to determine if the mouse is inside of a circle. So we're going to start with this code where we're drawing a circle in the middle of our canvas. And I'm just printing out uh, to the console the distance between the mouse and the center of the circle. So I'm going to run this code, and then we'll take a look at it. I'm going to open up the console here. So you can see as I'm moving my mouse, it's printing all these numbers, and these are really just distances. So if I pause here, we can see that it's printing uh, 123.065 over and over and over again because I'm not moving my mouse. So the distance between where my mouse is right now and the middle of that circle is about 123 pixels. As I move it closer, we can see that distance decrease. Now it's only 94 pixels. Move it a little closer, it's 67 pixels. Now I'm down to 41 pixels. And if I get it really, really close, I'm only just a few pixels away. It's hard to get it exactly on the middle. Uh, but we can see that it's really, really close. But what I really care about, since I want to be able to control what happens when my mouse is in the circle or outside of the circle, I want to know this point right here where I've crossed over and I'm either on the inside or the outside, I'm right on that line. And I can see that right now uh, it's 50 pixels away. So I'm right here on this line as I go around the circle, it's staying right about at 50. So let's go back and look at the code. And we can see that that makes sense. When I'm right on the edge of that circle, uh, I'm 50 pixels away, and my circle has a width of 100 pixels total. So half of that, the radius, is 50. So that makes sense. Uh, that confirms that this distance function is working. Uh, and the way that this distance function works right here is that I give it four parameters. So two sets of xy coordinates. So the first xy coordinate that I'm giving it is the location of my mouse. And the second xy coordinate right here is actually the location of the center of the circle. So I got that 400, 255 right here from where I put the center of my circle. So this dist function is calculating uh, the distance between those two points that I give it, and then I'm just printing it out so I can actually see that distance. So now we're going to add in a conditional. So I'm going to set up my syntax for it. And I'll even include the else. And the condition is going to be if my mouse is inside the circle, I'm going to set the fill to one color, and if my mouse is outside the circle, I'll set the fill to another color. So to write that, the mouse is inside the circle, I'm going to use my distance function, and it's going to be the same two points, my mouse and the middle of the circle. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and put it right here. And this gives me a number, right? We've seen those numbers print out down here. And I have to compare that number to that border of the circle. So it's 50 pixels away. So right when I cross over that 50 pixel distance, I know that I'm transitioning uh, from inside to outside. So if the distance between my mouse is less than 50, that means I'm really close to the center of uh, the circle. I'm sorry, the distance between my mouse and the center of the circle. If that's less than 50, then I'm close to the center of the circle. Um, I'm within the radius of the circle. So my mouse, in this case, is inside of the circle. If I get 50 or more away, then I'm outside of the circle. So if my mouse is inside the circle, I'm going to set my fill here to be black. And otherwise, I'm going to keep it as white. So we're going to try this out. 
as I move my mouse, it should start out because my mouse starts out outside the circle. It should be running this else. But then as I move it closer and transition over that 50 pixel distance mark into the circle, then it should change the fill to be black. So we'll try that out. And we can see here it is still white and my distance is decreasing. And then I cross over and suddenly it's black. And we can see down at the bottom, uh, the distance right now is 44, so it's less than 50. As I get closer, down to six pixels, still less than 50. And then as I'm coming back out here to the edge, I'm at 42, that's still less than 50. And then right here, I just crossed over, now I'm at 51 pixels away from the center. And so that's why it switched back to white. So this distance function is really useful for checking if our mouse is inside or outside of a circle. We just have to calculate the distance between the mouse position and the middle of the circle and compare that distance to the radius of our circle. Now what's kind of special about this distance function compared to the other functions that we've seen so far is that this isn't actually drawing anything or changing something on our screen. So ellipse, rect, all those functions that draw shapes, those put something on our screen, fill sets the color, but gist is actually returning a value. So it's not doing anything to our screen, it's calculating a number, and then it's returning that value. So when we printed this out here, it was printing out the value, the number that was returned by the dist function. So this is a little bit different um, in that it is returning a value. If we tried to print ellipse or we tried to print fill, um, that wouldn't work because those don't return values. They don't do any sort of calculation, whereas our dist function does, and that's why we're able to use it in this comparison. It calculates a number here, and then we're comparing the number that it returns, that number that it calculates, comparing that to 50. So this is the first time we've seen a function that returns a value.